Hello everyone out there on YouTube, is I, the American YouTube, back again after slowing the process of making videos. Today, we will be taking a look at one of Bachman's newest Thomas & Friends models, Bo, an American steam engine. We will be taking a look at every beautiful detail on this model, but before we get into it, let me give you a brief rundown who Bo is because I don't think there's a lot of people out there who know or remember him. Bo is an old, gritty, and wise American steam engine based on the early American 440 tenor engines, specifically the Baldwin built Virginia and Truckee No. 12 Gino, and its livery comes from the replica of the Central Pacific No. 63 Leviathan. He is also a one-shot character who made his first and only appearance in the 2018 special Big World Big Adventures, the official start of the international era of Thomas. In his only appearance, Bo was working at an old mine near the Grand Canyon taking some freight cars when Thomas and Ace came rushing in, uncoupled Bo from his train, raced through the old mine, and crashed off the track. Luckily for them, the next day, Bo called for some help from some... people. And... horses. Because there are apparently no breakdown cranes in the Wild West. And with their help, they managed to haul Thomas and Ace and their train back on the tracks. And then they continue on their way to the salt flats. And then afterwards, Bo is never seen or heard from again. That's it. He never made any more appearances on the show. And we never got another season where Thomas goes to America and meets him again. Very unfortunate. And a very weird move on Bachman to simply choose a character who made only one appearance and never appeared again. But I have to say, they still did a great job with his model. It's beautiful and very well made. So let's take a look at it. Now, it should be noted that Bo is the first Thomas & Friends character by Bachman not to be made from a new tooling. Instead, Bo uses an existing tooling. And I don't mean existing tooling from other characters, as in he's a recolor. Instead, he uses an existing tooling from normal model trains, more specifically the early American 44010 renders, which is what Bo is, as stated before, based on. And because of that, Bo is also the first character in Intro Scale to not be made using a moving iMech, mainly because the smoke box is a little bit smaller compared to other characters. Though his face is still really good and very accurate too. And compared to his CGI render, he lacks any buffers, but at the same time it's not too surprising because he's an American engine and they don't need buffers. Also, he's the first character from Bachman's Thomas line to officially have traction tires. This can help him pull even heavier trains than other engines. And just like his basis, he even comes with a working headlamp. One other unique feature on Bo's model are his couplings. He still retains a normal knuckle coupler on the front, but he also has the European style coupler on his tender. Meaning he's actually compatible with both American and British rolling stock. And I personally think that is a really great feature. The first time we've ever had a model who's compatible with two coupling systems and it actually works. Alright, I think I've talked enough about how great this mall is. Let's give this guy a test run.
not the best runner compared to all the other engines, and this could mostly contribute to Bo's traction tires. He tends to jolt and stop constantly when I pull him with another engine. Another thing difficult with Bo is his front coupling. It's completely solid. This makes it very easy for Bo to be uncoupled from another engine and a piece of rolling stock. In conclusion, despite the fact that Bachman, as stated before, decided to make a character that never appeared again, this is still a great model, and shows that even though the franchise isn't doing so well nowadays, and most of the merch is transferring over to the reboot, it's still very nice of Bachman to continue to make and give us characters and stuff from the old series, and they are really trying their best to make them as great as possible. And if you don't have an engine like this in your collection, then I highly recommend you go pick him up. Though, let it be known that this is one of the most expensive models to buy, so be careful when buying him. If you don't want to buy him because it's from an awful era of the show, then that's fair. Well, anyways guys, that is it for today, and I will see you in the next video.